All right, give me a couple minutes, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't hear my alarm go off. I was taking a nap. <laughs> Okie dokie. Hey, y'all. Happy Saturday. Is anyone talk? No, I am. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I, my son started football. 
uh, today and I call myself taking a nap before new members orientation and um, I did not hear the first alarm that I had set to go off. So that's my bad. Hey girl, hey, hey Nikki. <laughs> but, um, and I have to, because I'm gonna be going over some trade setup and um, I have to have my uh, stress relief eucalyptus and spearmint candle burning. And of course I could never find the lighter for here at my desk. It always seems to go away. And I'm very particular about the color lighter that I light my candle with. It either has to be blue or purple. There was only a yellow one sitting here and I wasn't lighting my candle with a yellow lighter when I'm going over trades. <laughs> yes, honey child, woo! I'm like, Jesus. Okay, so I have my notes. I already had that set on the desk. Here it is right here, okay. So, let me turn this ringer off on this cell phone. Boom, there we go. So if you have any specific questions, um, please go ahead and put them in the chat. I will get to them. Um, and let's rock and roll. So I'm going to piggyback on some things that we went over on Wednesday. Wednesday, not Tuesday. Um, our signals group. So Telegram should already be up for me. Booyah, there it is. So we have a signals group, y'all. Hold on one second, because I always have a challenge getting to it on my desktop. Here it is. And I don't know why I always have issues with it because I'm an admin. Oh, Jesus, help me get out. How did I get to it last time? Manage the channel. I always do this. I can never figure out how to get to it. I'm on it. There we are. So I'm going to have you all join the chat for our signals group. There you are, I'll put it on Facebook too. So Latanya, Waverly, Kenneth. Message me privately and I'll go ahead and um get that to you all. Or you can just check our telegram group. I'll put it in our telegram group. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that today. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So what I wanna be able to do is go over, uh, let's do it this way. Who does not know how to enter a trade? Who does not know how to enter a trade? If you receive a signal, who does not know how to enter a trade? So for example, 
We had one that is a, uh, okay, you do not. So that's perfect. We will go over that. Um, we had GBP AUD cell limit. So hold on, I'm gonna log on from my phone. So I have to mute it so you all won't hear the feedback. So just one second. What did my son do with my Android phone? I don't like doing it for my iPhone. I just have to do it for my iPhone. Hold on one second. B-I-T-L-Y. Let's see what we said again. Hey, you have both devices. Yes. Do you want me to do something particular, Brianna? All right, I have, I have to have stop to sharing, sharing this screen. Hold on. Stop sharing. Share. Microphone on. Microphone. Start broadcast. Perfect. Okay. So, um, hold on. Okay, I'm talking right now, Brianna. Text me back and tell me if you could hear me. Okay, thank you. All right, so this one right here, the last signal that we received came in at 11.07 uh, p.m. on what day was this? The 24th, okay? So it's GBP. AUD and it is a cell limit. I'll show you a picture of what cell limits, buy limits, sell stops, buy stops are in market execution in just one moment. But this is for, I believe it's Latanya because we want to make sure that everyone knows, <clears throat> excuse me, how to utilize the signals group. Okay. So GBP AUD. So let's go to GBP AUD. Can't use that because that's crypto. Um, which one would I use for this? I would use this under long term. Um, so, oh, I'm not logged in as Legacy Wealth Builders. I'm logged in as myself. Okay. Uh, that one was GBP AUD. Now, mine are usually in order but I just started this particular demo account. So, oh no, oops. We'll click the plus, go to cross this, GBP AUD, done. So we'll pull up GBP AUD, I'll click chart. I just like to click chart first. Now this is on the one minute time frame. It doesn't matter which time frame you are on to enter a trade, guys. Again, it doesn't matter. So on the top right hand corner, you see it says trade, right? We're gonna click trade. 
You see where it says market execution? We're going to change that to what? A sell limit because that's the call that was made. Sell limit. So GBP, AUD, sell limit. Boom. Got that out of the way. Then you need to pick your appropriate lot size. EP means entry point. TP means take profit and stop loss. FL means stop loss. So for the entry, we're doing 1.83444. 8344, 83444, 83444. Okay, I know y'all hear me saying something. That's just the way that I enter my trade. The take profit is 1.83043. 83043, 83043, 83043. And then the stop loss is 1.83811. 83811. Now, we cannot actually place this order now. Why? Because the market is closed. When you're all set, you would hit place. Of course, it says market closed. We can't do it right now. There's nothing on the screen. Hmm. Nikki, I'm going to suggest that you log off and I'll pause and log back in because I'm on my cell phone doing it and I left my screen up on my desktop and I see my computer screen right now. So I'm gonna pause, log off, and then log back on and let me know that you're back. So Nikki, go ahead and log off and log back on. I'm not going to keep going. I'm going to wait for you. Okay, I, I can see it now. Thank you, Tiffany. Oh, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okie dokie. So now, of course, we can't enter the market because um, it's closed. <laughs> I couldn't think right there. So let's go over another example really quickly so that one was gbp aud right oh and another thing i like is he said the person who does the signals he sends the link for his chart markups okay the uh, another one usd cat which is a buy limit so let's go back do we already have you can on here Oh, maybe we did. Oh, there it is. You can click chart or trade. It's just a habit for me. I don't put a um a order into anything just because somebody sent a signal. That's just my personal preference. I don't care if it comes from swipe trade, swipe coin. Uh, push 1000, any additional signal groups that I may use. So that's why I have the habit of clicking chart first. I'm going to look and see, do I agree with the analysis that you're calling? Again, it could be Christopher Terry sending it. I don't care because my goal is to get to the place where I see what the experienced people see. I don't want to be what Orrin Wright calls a PST a professional signal taker so that's why i click chart first so in this one on ucad he was calling a buy limit and let's see what time frame this is on the daily So I'll click to the daily because I want to see what you see. 
And of course, you're going to have to squeeze this in. But you can also flip your phone sideways if you're out and about doing it from your phone. Now, I can see why a buy limit was called because price has gotten to this area before and bounced up. And again, remember, this is just a zone here. And I make my entry lines yellow because for me, that means caution. This is a place for you to look out, Tiff. And again, this is a zone. So even if you wanted to, you could drop a box. From the top of the wick to the bottom of the wick. And th this is a entry zone. So I just wanted to explain like why I um I'm like actually uh <laughs> I'm gonna put this on my watch list because this looks good. Um I, I didn't see this one. Uh yeah, so that's why I click um chart first because I don't just take a trade because somebody sent it out. Ooh, look at that wick. Mm, okay, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna let me get back on track. Buy limit for you, CAD. Entry is 1.31747. 31, 7, 4, 7. 31, 7, 4, 7. 30, what? 31, 7, 4, 7. Okay. And this has already happened, so that's why it's gray. Price is already past that point. TP is 1.33031. 1. 33031. Oops. 1. 1.33031. And the stop loss is 1.31178. 311.78. 311.78. Okay. And then you would have been able to click place. But remember, I said I'm going to keep my eye on this. So, what I would do now in this situation, because price has already passed my entry point. I'm going to look for a market execution for a buy or a buy stop. A buy stop means prices at this Okay. I'll take this off. So three zero nine nine two. All right. If let's say, for example, price were right here at this, let's change the color. White line. I'm saying price is going to go back up to the yellow line and continue up. That's the difference between a limit and a stop. Okay. I'm not going to go too deep into that. I just wanted to make sure you all know how to enter a trade. So my person, Latanya. Did I answer your question on how to enter a trade? Can you hear me, Tiffany? Yes, loud and clear. Okay, yes, you did. I was looking. It looked like you were doing it from an Android. No, this is an iPhone. I can't find my Android. Okay, my that was it. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I practiced before in the, um, in the demo. And, yes, um, ma'am. And when you were putting in the trade, I never noticed the um, the pricing on mine. I only have like the stop loss and the um, take profit. And I do have an iPhone also. When you say you never noticed the pricing, mm -hmm. you're talking about the screen that I have up now. Is that correct? Right. Where it has where you were putting in the, um, the numbers for price. And then I saw you go to the um, stop loss and the take profit. Mm -hmm. On my screen, only have the um, stop loss and the take profit. 
That is correct. Okay. It'll okay. only have those two if it's a market execution. Okay, I get you now. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, because I'm looking at the same exact screen now on my phone and what Perfect. you posted. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's why you don't see the price. Because on market execution, you're telling mm -hmm. the market, hey, just put me in there right now. Wherever you are, I'm going. Okay. <laughs> and then you. for the buy the buy and sell limits, the buy and sell stock, that's where you have to be very detailed. Okay, where oh, do you okay. want Parker to put you in? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got you now. Thank you. Did I answer all of your questions? Oh, you're welcome. Yep, that's just one of my questions for today. <laughs> but yeah, oh, thank oh, you. Oh, no, I'm not saying it like don't ask. Oh, me no. Now, but oh, I know I you know. Make sure everybody know how to enter a trade. So good, good, good. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm going to mute and go back to Legacy Wealth Builders. So one second. Okay, perfect. Here we go. So I will have to just log on. Okay. So let me go back to sharing my screen. All right. So we all know how to get access to the group. Oh, let me check Facebook to see if there's any. I always forget to check on Facebook. Loady, loady. I will message you. Yes, ma'am, Miss Waverly. Okay, perfect. So I have the link in our UTH group. But just remember, guys, after today, if you go, oh, Lord, I spelled it wrong. Let me delete this before somebody try to click on this in the future. Yes. Um, let's say it's a week from now and you go, man, I forgot to subscribe to that, our channel. All you have to do is, um, on your cell phone, it's going to be a picture of Robert and Quinn. You'll click it and then you'll, you'll go to shared link and it's right here. I shared it today. I shared it the other day. It's been shared, you know, before any link you can find here okay so we're gonna move on to our next topic which is how to navigate telegram so i kind of did that a two and one from your desktop you can click there but remember from your cell phone it is this picture of robert and quinn that you're going to click on and you can see every photo that was ever shared um if you have new people coming in, there are banners here for them. It's further down. You do have to go through and search, but it's there. If you ever need links, they're right here. Um, any files that we have, the presentation, books that we've shared, just, you know, anything. They're all right here. I already clicked on files. Uh, videos, they're all right there for you. Okay, and connect MetaTrader 4. Yeah, why wasn't this working the other day? So, let me ask this. Is there anyone who does not have their MetaTrader set up on their cell phone or tablet? Uh, teaching you how to do the MetaTrader for a desktop is a whole nother game for a whole nother day. So is there anyone who does not know how to use MetaTrader 4 from their cell phone? Perfect. Now let's go over some things in our back office. Where's my IMO balance? There it is. Okay, so 
when you first log in, of course, this isn't going to be right here. There we go. This is what it's going to look like. Your IBO number, your subscription, when it's due, the billing date. Um, you can change your um, account information, everything right there. Here is where you're going to find your navigations for IML Academy, TV, Harmonic Scanner, Pit Talk, Christopher Terry's Night Owl, even though it's not called Night Owl no more, um, your referral links, people that you have referred, um, shopping cart. So let's say you want to add the web analyzer or something, that's where you would go to shopping cart to add those different uh, things on. This is where you find all of that uh additional stuff okay and really that's it you know if you want to find your upline information that's there your personal information how to contact them and log off but um we're going to go over iml academy i already clicked on it guys like IML is already dope as an educational platform. It's just dope in a mug. This is the third version of um, IML Academy that I have had the pleasure of experiencing. When I say that it is the best to date, it is hands down explained like it ain't never been explained before for a new person. Like I learned something going through it. Like I'm excited to go through it again. Manny does an abs, and not to say that a days they didn't because when I started a days they was my go-to person. She helped me understand some stuff, Lord Jesus. However, this right now, the direction the company took to put Manny on the platform to do this, it was a very, very wise decision. Um, he just has a way of explaining things. Maybe it's the theater major in me. Um, I love his tone. I love his inflection. I mean, everything, because it has to hold my attention. And he just does a great job. Y'all, I'm like so serious. You can go through all of this in a day. The longest video is nine minutes, I think. I would highly, highly, highly recommend taking, and I'll say the next three days, but that's just, in my opinion, too long. But, I, you know, I can't speak for what you already have to do in your day-to-day -day life. Oh, I lied. The longest video is... 10 minutes and 23 seconds. It's phenomenal. The way he explained pullbacks, then he show you how to use it to enter the trade when you determine the trend. Yo, I cannot wait to draw up some charts because that's what I'm doing today. I'm drawing up naked charts from going back and looking through this. I promise you, it will only make your trading career and your understanding so much better so please 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 do yourself a favor and go back through iml academy for sure within the next three days the basics for sure for sure yes it's the bomb yo like man it when he went over lot sizes the way everybody else used to explain it, I was just like, forget it. I went about it and learned it a different way. I just have a different way of thinking about stuff. So I did, okay, 0 0.01 is really 10 cents. 0 0.02 is really 20 cents. But Manny said something as simple as you take the 0 0.01 and multiply it by 10. That's how you got the 10 cent. Now, maybe somebody else did say it and I ain't catch it, but I just got it that simple when he just went over it. The trend lines and stuff like that and how to enter the trade because I am a true price action trader. 
I really, 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 really am. And I have just been a little stagnant in my growth with price action. But the way he went over everything in basics, man, I'm about to slay the markets. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I cannot wait. So please, please, please go through there. You guys will truly benefit from it. So let's go ahead and move on to, um, yes. And I'm actually going to have it on the recording. Um, it's in IML, I mean, our Legacy Wealth Builders page. So you'll be able to access it there. Um, Okay, so let's go over the harmonic scanner, y'all. Because my vision has been for everyone to begin making money immediately. Like, there's no reason, really, week one of becoming a student, that you shouldn't know how to um pull money off the harmonic scanner. But for sure, for sure, by week two. That way, when you're in demo your first week, you're building your confidence. You're seeing that a quote unquote strategy works. You can make the money in a demo account. So now you can transition to a live account and truly begin earning money while you're in IML TV learning the skill set. Because I don't want anyone to become dependent on I'm just going to use this strategy and then that's it. Maybe that will work for you. However, what I have found is that people who develop strategies, they're still learning other things. They're just using the strategy and the tools to make money, okay? They don't stop growing. They're a student always. So let's go over, I'm going to go over what I use because that just works best for me. These strategies that I have implemented are almost identical okay so we're going to go to the 15 minute time frame and my strategy is called prosperity all it is is tasha byob and the moving averages from sk5 merged together there are certain aspects of sk5 i visually don't like for my personality it's not that they don't work for my personality, I'm not going to sit there and wait for those three in the middle to meet up. I've never been a fan of the MACD. So I'm not going to make myself. Oh, I'm a, a SK5, yes. If you go to push 1000. You come to push 1000, click on the picture. If you go to, um, not files, where is it? He just dropped it. Okay, there it is. So I'm not going to scroll up simply because I respect when people ask us not to share stuff. You go to push 1000 like I just did and scroll up. He gives a laundry list of videos with passwords and how to set up SK5. So when you utilize the harmonic scanner, the first thing you want to do is build your template. You're welcome. Um, you build your template. So what do I mean by build it? At first, it's going to be naked. You're not going to see all of this stuff on here, right? So you're going to need to add your moving averages. How do you do that? Come right here to indicators. If I need a moving average, I'm going to punch in this. I, I have three moving averages on mine. So I would click 
moving average exponential three times. Then I use the parabolic star. Star, sorry. Uh, I punch that in, click it. And I use the stochastic. Boom, click it. You use the format button to change your setting. The reason I'm not going through it today is because I've already gone through it. One thing Quinn has taught me is to be resourceful. So you do, I want you guys to start utilizing the tools that we have for you to build your chart. So that would be our YouTube Legacy Wealth Builders page, okay? So for my particular strategy, I mostly stick with um, Trader's Way. Um, but again, I use Hugo's way. So technically, none of them are true to form or whatever. But this part up here is the same as SK5, include adding on the uh, parabolic support and resistance. So the first thing we're looking for is, is there a transition zone? You're answering these questions, yes or no. Because guess what? If it's no, move on to the next pair. Don't sit there and go, okay, I'm gonna wait for a TZ zone. No, you could have been then caught pips off of another pair. <clears throat> so the first thing, is there a TZ zone? Yes. We have Hikonashi candles with weeks at the top and at the bottom. That's a transition zone. I don't care what color it is. Okay, so that's the first one. For my second one is, did my moving averages twist? If my moving averages have not twist, I'm not even looking at the trade, period, point blank, in the story. So for this one right here, what I would do, I would go to my app called Easy Indicators, and I would set an alert. So I'm, I want to share my screen so people will know what that looks like. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna have to mute. So on the screen, we're seeing that AUD USD is a potential sale setup. But my parabolic support, and res excuse me, my moving averages have not twisted. Let me share my cell phone screen. So that pair was AUD USD. This right here, the one at the bottom dashboard, I'm going there. I'm clicking at the bottom alerts, customizable alerts. Now, I trade the 4 and the 50 on particular pairs already, so these are already set. So when they go off, I can see it. So we were on AUD USD. I'm clicking the plus sign, scrolling down to moving average crossover. Next. AUD USD was the pair. Next. It was the 15 minute time frame. Next. There, my moving averages are exponential. I leave that as it is. But my first moving average is a four. My second moving average is a 10. I leave that trigger only on interval close open because I want to see how it's moving. I don't want to wait for that 15 minute candle to be over. Probably because I'm nosy, because technically you could, but I just wanted to trigger me when they touch one another. And then I'm clicking next. I want it to alert me every two minutes. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, you can only go by the default, and then I click submit. Okay? 
So now, instead of me sitting there continuously watching the trade saying, Did my moving averages cross? No, I'm going to get up, clean up my kitchen, go do whatever it is that I have to do. And I'm going to wait to get the alert. Because if my moving averages never cross, I never take the trade anyways. I don't care what. So let me go back to Zoom. Um, I want to do that. There we go. I'm going to have to leave again. All right, simply because it gives me feedback. So let's go ahead and pull the chart back up. So first, is there a TZ zone? Yes or no? Yes, there's a TZ zone here. Did my moving averages twist? No, they didn't. So I go to set an alert. After I get the alert that my moving averages have twist, so let's say I was looking down here, right? Um, this was a TZ zone because we have a doji candle right here, a little body, a wick at the top and a wick at the bottom. These are small Hakanashi candles. So let's say my alert went off in this area where my, the hand on the screen is. Okay, I get the alert. Oh, wow. It's going into a buy for this example. So I have a flat bottom Hakanashi candle for the buy. As long as the candles are above the blue line, I can stay in this trade. So for a buy, the blue, the candles have to be above the blue line. So when do you get into the trade, Tiffany? I'm glad you asked. I get into this trade when I have two flat bottom Hakanashi candles. So I got my alert kind of on this candle here. This was my first flat bottom Hakanashi candle for a buy. Here's my second one. Then my third step is, is there a parabolic support and resistance at the bottom? Oh, yes. Are my stochastic going in the same direction? My blue has to be on top for a buy. My red has to be on top going down for a sell. You see that? I made the lines coordinate. Well, what do you mean? Blue is buying, so it's on top. Red is selling, so it's on top. It's going down. So I have a yes to my moving average twisting. Well, let's start over. I have yes to a transition zone. Yes to my moving average twisting, and for a buy, my blue is on my uh, candles are above the blue line. I have a parabolic support and resistance at the bottom, and my stochastic are moving in the same direction going up. Let's look at another example. Give me one second, guys. Hello. Hey, Felicia, girl. I'm on New Members Orientation, girl. You called while I was taking a nap. Can I call you back? Um, is Jaden there? No, he's gone. Okay. I like your bracelet. You trade, girl. <laughs> Bye, Felicia, girl. <laughs> okay. Um, so my checklist marked off right now this example right here i i do like for my stochastic to be to have passed the 20 and be on its way up but once you get good at the strategy you'll be able to make calls like this okay so let's look at a different example EUR USD. So this should be going. Uh, this one is all over the place. It already took off. And I was just telling Brianna the other day, I'm going to start only using this strategy on the one hour because I got my pips yesterday on that one hour. Let's look at the one hour time frame. 
Yep, a doodles. But see, this is still going up. It has a lot of momentum to the upside. Even though it's at that entry point. Um, a one hour time frame, you got more room to move, honey child. So for AJ, my moving averages are not about to twist or anything like that. My piece are still at the bottom. So this is still in a buy. What I also like to do is, come on computer, don't act crazy today. I'll come to my, <clears throat> excuse me, NT4 on my computer. Because this is my broker. My broker is true to everything. The harmonic scanner is another broker that I picked. So as you can see here, I like to use, before I even saw this, the first thing that came out of my mouth is it still got a lot of momentum to the upside. Even though it's oversold on my stochastic at that 80, when this stochastic begins to go flat like this, the market is still pushing up. It's still pushing up. So this has broken through a lot of resistance. Let's go to the H4 and see where price currently is. That's my reminder for me to take my medicine. So it can come all the way up here. Um, I don't know. What did I say, Brianna? What do you want me to write down? I don't know what I said. I mean, I know what I said, but I don't know what I said. <laughs> what point? Unmute yourself, Brianna. Oh, yes. Okay, never mind. She can't unmute. She running um, a daycare now. <laughs> she gonna go off on me for that. <laughs> she got mommy Louisiana daycare, New Orleans daycare, baby. <laughs> okay, so yes, as Brianna just said, in that one hour time frame, when this stochastic is above the 80 and it's just going flat, it's still going up. But your stochastic don't have no place else to take you. It can't keep going up because it's not going to go out of your view. Same thing for if it's oversold. If this line would have kept going flat, that means it would have still been going down. So before I even pull up my tool, I, the, I said this still has momentum going up. I can tell. The Heikinashi candles, the stochastic is still going up. Now it's starting to curve some, but remember what I said of I prefer to use my broker because these stochastics look totally different. Watch what I mean. What the hell is wrong with me? Oh, that's from when I was looking for flights to down uh to down there to you yesterday uh brianna let's look at these side by side oh come on not gonna do it you guys get the picture here. You see how I'm on the one hour for my broker, Hugo's way. This is beginning to go flat. That's a strong Heikinashi candle, honey child. But look at this one. It's not going flat yet. But this is why I want everybody to pick a strategy and master one strategy. Because before I got here, and I call this stuff a crutch, it is a crutch. Because I want to be for sure, for sure, before I click the buy or sell button. 
But before I came over here, I said it is strong momentum to the upside. And look, it's in a buy on all of these time frames. It's not saying it's not going to turn around, but it ain't turning around yet. It's not. When we go and look at the four hour, this thing has the potential to still go up 30 some pips. And it's untested resistance. It could get some momentum and blow right through this. Let's go look at the daily. Oh, come on. Yeah, look at this. It's getting ready on the daily. But, and this is what I love about the 50 moving average, y'all. The 50 moving average is a sign of support and resistance. On this time frame here, if I wanted to go into a buy, that's 30 some pips, I will only take it to this line right here. That's it. Yep, that's what it is, the money line. What trade was I in the other day? GBP NZD, and I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Is GBP NZD already pulled up? Yep, it is, because I was in it. So, these two candles right here i got in a buy somewhere up in here because of course it met my criteria i got an alert when my moving averages twist i waited for this hakanashi candle i did not wait for the second one simply because i saw the momentum going up with the stochastic okay so what i did i entered on a market execution and I only went to the 50 moving average line. Normally, I wouldn't even go through this little red area here, but I think I got in on this candle. Yeah, because the body was already through here and it said weak resistance. So I knew it was at least going to go to the, I don't like to say I know because don't none of us know because the market does whatever it wants. But because I'm so comfortable with my strategy, I said, I'm going to take this to the 50 moving average. And to be quite honest, it never made, price never made it to the 50 moving average. I went to my close screen and when it hit the dollar amount I needed for the day, because I'm going to be honest, this account balance is horrendous because I took two stupid trades that I shouldn't have took, and then I didn't use proper risk management. So I'm starting below what I had put in here for my demo account to grow it. And that's my fault, but I don't lie to myself or fool myself. If you guys look at that note that I had wrote myself, yeah, I did good with my percentage and my uh, uh, close ratio. But I didn't use proper risk management. On, where is this, the harmonic scanner? On four, the four losses that I did take out of the 10 trades I took off of the harmonic scanner last week, it killed my balance. I'm, it killed it. But that's my fault. So when I saw that price wasn't about to even touch the 50 moving average, I was like, mm, let me take my money and get the hell on. So I grew it 20% for the day. So I'm digging myself out of a hole. And guess what? I can't go back live until I get this account where it's supposed to be. I'm on punishment because I made a stupid decision. And it was stupid. It was absolutely stupid, the decision that I made. So utilize that 50 moving average because it means something. 
I know it looks different because I'm on a one hour time frame. I kind of use a uh, different criteria. It's not that much different. The only difference is it doesn't have the parabolic support and resistance on here. And my, this, the color of the line is green. So I call this red light, green light. As long as the candles are below, I'm selling. I'm going to get my money. I'm going, 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 going. Going, 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 going. Up, oh, I'm stopping. Because that red line then crossed my green line. That's why I call it red light, green light. So I got my twist up here. I'm going, going, going for the sale. Going, going, going. I really wouldn't have got into about right here because you need to have two flat bottom Heikonashi candles. So I'm going, 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 going. It can consolidate here. Look, it got to this line. This is a H4 floor. This is a daily floor. So it's going to have some resistance. But I don't get out until those moving averages twist. I learned that from Dr. Spiller. So what we were on AJ. So this has the potential to come up here and turn right back around. What did it do right here? Got to the 50 moving average and went back down. So we're looking at AJ on the one hour is just not ready yet but back to my point use easy indicators now for android lord jesus i can't get this dang on easy indicator to work to save my life i don't know why android is just terrible with that app but iphone baby i live my life because you don't have to sit there and wait for it so I'm actually going to go ahead and set that now. I'm going to erase GA. Delete. And I'm going to put AJ, moving average, ADJPY on a one hour. I'm waiting for my four and my 10 to cross. And that's going going to give me an indication of my opportunity to sell based upon what the harmonic scanner has given me. So yes, now again, this still has momentum to the upside. Keep in mind, the market is still moving. We just can't participate in it. It could gap down. It could gap up. Who knows? But based upon the indication the harmonic scanner is giving us, this trade is not ready yet. Okay, we'll look at one more. What questions do we have so far? Oh, look, and it came up twice on the H4 and the, let's see what it's saying on the H4. Yep, a doodles. Yep, a doodles. Yep, same thing I looked at there. We got some um, resistance coming up and it's untested. And you see where I laid that yellow line? It says verify resistance. It came here before and turned around. Look, right there. So you just want to wait and see what it does. Yeah, this is a, um, that's good. Let's look at EU. Oh, I'm going to tell the truth. When these uh, can't come up looking retarded like that, I don't even look at it. GJ. Brianna's Bay. GJ. Oh. I'm going to say GJ too. This is looking yummy. Forget that AUD USD. GJ give you some pips. So let's look. Yes, honey. Be straight snacking. 
Oh, let me check the Facebook page. See if anyone is asking. Lord, please speak on my nerves. Okie dokie. Let's look at GJ. So what do I do? I go to my handy dandy administrator for Yep, there's a doji candle. That's an indecision <clears throat> candle. And look, it's um consolidated. That's what yellow means to me, consolidation. It's, it's not going anywhere. It's going sideways. And look, going to the to the side. Right? Let me show. Uh, is it on this computer? No, it's on my other computer. So I have one set up with Hikanashi candle, um, excuse me, Japanese candles where I will box up the consolidation and trade the breakout. Um, you can do that as well too. This was consolidation here. So I don't really know how to use the boxes on here, but I would have drawn a line, a box from like boom, boom, boom and then set a pending order for a buy stop and a sell stop and whichever one trigger i took my pips on that but yeah this is in consolidation it's still in the buy on m15 and 15, but again the harmonic scanner is calling for a drop and i'm gonna be honest depending on where it comes within its 50 moving average i might not even take that but I am going to set an alert so when these twist, I can make a decision. And this could be a situation where all three of them are about to cross at the same time. What do I mean? Situations like this, where all three of them cross together, you are in pip heaven. This thing dropped for 258 pips, 256 pips. Even if you would have just got out here, that's 171 pips. That's some good pips. That's some good pips. But based upon a strategy, probably would have got out right here because they twist. But the better you get at it, I mean, that ain't bad. That's 45 pips. 45 pips on two positions, that's a 108 pips for the, is that right? No, nah, 45 times two. 90 pips, that's not bad. 90 pips. in a day, in one day, in one day. And this is why I keep this sheet up as my screensaver, because at my last job, I was making $15 an hour. So at day 19, I'm replacing my income. I'm at, this is $16 uh, a pip. So 16, times 40 because i'm doing two positions that's 640 dollars that that's that was my weekly take home you get to day 19 you're making well me i'm making in a day what it took me all week to make stressed out around people i don't like dealing with customers i can't stand in traffic dropping my son off having to pay for somebody else to pick him up Ugh, god that just sounds gross coming out of my mouth now 
So how much do you make per hour at your job? If you still work, if you don't, to God be the glory. But if you do, use a trading plan and change your perspective of how you're going to work this harmonic scanner to replace it to free yourself. And that's why I'm so upset with myself right now that I can't go back live because I made four dumb, stupid decisions on my trade. But hey, it's a part of growing. I bet you I won't do it no more. You make $19 an hour. Do you make $26 an hour? You can use this plan to replace that. Okay, so what questions do we have? I know we still have Latanya on. Uh, why is this doing? What questions do you have, Latanya? If any. I gotta unmute myself. Uh, right now. Oh, wait, I have to turn my volume back up. Sorry. Okay. No <laughs> there you go. Sorry. No problem. Um, right now, I'm just observing because I've been signed up with the with this for mm, I probably say by the end of April, and I just haven't been I guess confident enough to like really um, trade um, for real. I've been playing around with the um, with the demo account, but I don't think me personally have been taking it really serious enough to really learn this. So I'm really just now just trying to really learn and get a really good understanding um, of this because this is something that, of course, you know, when we participate with this, we're paying for the membership, but I don't want to continue to waste uh, my money. So right now I'm just basically observing and trying to really get all the information that's offered and really get a good understanding of how this really works because I do at some point want to be at a, in a position where I'm uh, retiring early. And okay. hopefully do that soon. But right now, not a lot of questions. You asked pretty much the few that I did have earlier about how to set up the harmonic scan. I found that. Um, I went to where you said to go and um, just how to place the trade. So all this is starting to look very uh, familiar to me. I'm starting to get an understanding of it. So um, can I ask you some questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to say this first. I am an aggressive talker because I'm very passionate. So at no point do I want anyone to feel like I'm yelling or I'm being mean. Because somebody said that the other day and my feelings was hurt. Because I'm like, I'm not mean. I'm just passionate. Mm -hmm. So I'm just a loud person. So let me just put that disclaimer out there now. So the first thing that I want you to do is something that Quinn coached me on. You have to take the word try out of your vocabulary. Okay. If you keep trying this, that's what you're going to do. Pay a subscription and give iMarkets Live your money and you're going to get nothing in return. Right. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing, how many days a week do you get on the harmonic scanner? I'm going to be honest. I don't get on that often. And I just okay. recently started to... Um, to really put an effort into into learning this because uh, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. Yes, and this is not a beat up on anybody session, but we gotta bring some things to light so we can make different choices. Mm -hmm. And I feel comfortable going over this with you because this is a checklist that I had to give myself. Mm -hmm. Because I kept getting up, going to work every day, pissed off, mad as hell, hated my job, um, broke. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't using what God had put in front of me. Right. So yeah. I have a schedule. Mm -hmm. I'm going to recommend that you get a schedule. I don't know what time is going to work for you, but I'm going to give you an example. And then you put it in to fit Latanya's lifestyle. So at 6 a.m., my alarm clock is set. I get up, I get on the harmonic scanner, and while I'm on the harmonic scanner looking for patterns, I'm listening to personal self-development. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to um, 
do you have your cell phone? I do. I want you to text me so I can send it to you. Um, let me know when you're ready for my cell phone number. Okay, I'm ready. It's 313-704-7444. Nine six three one. Okay, and I so think, uh, and I don't mean to cut you off, Tiffany. I think that me personally, and I can only speak for myself, um, with me working a, a, a nine to five um, position in a, you know the career field that I'm in, I think I've used the um, excuse that I'm working. You know, I don't have really the time. But if you don't make the time personally for yourself to learn this skill. Mm -hmm. You gotta, mm -hmm. Me personally, I feel like I'm just going to be giving money, just giving this money away, which is, is not helpful, you know, for me. So I've just really made it up in my mind that I'm, I'm going to learn this and yeah. I'm, I'm going to get it. You are. You, you already got it. it. It's already, you already got it. All you have to do is take the steps. That's it. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to send you what I listen to. Okay. while i am looking for my pattern okay. you have an okay. iphone or android i have an iphone good are you in the um facebook legacy wealth builders group uh, i believe i am i'm in let's make sure go to your facebook page from your cell phone yes i did sign up with that i'm, I'm with the legacy yep i did do that because tiffany i think Maybe a month or so ago, I, I may have, um, we have uh, touched base with you once before because I was trying to do the the uh, new um, student orientation. And I think it was a day that you were, um, yeah. something like that. So I did, you you um, signed me up. You got me um, signed up for the um, Facebook. So I do have all that information too. I have that. I just Good. haven't honestly been utilizing all okay. the resources that I have. And that's okay. And we not gonna focus on the past. We just gonna move forward. Oh well, we can't do nothing about the past. That's right. Um, so I'm gonna give you that to listen to while you're looking for scans. Okay. I want you to come back. Oh no, this is what I want you to do. Go to your app store. Mm -hmm. And I want you to type in. Hold on, cause I'm I'm a visual person, so I have to pull it up myself. Okay. Easy. I want you to punch in easy indicators. Okay. Is it just the two letters easy? Uh-uh. I'm sorry. Actually, the word easy. I apologize. Okay. Okay. Indicators. Okay. I see one for easy indicators LLP. Is that it? Or easy indicator tracker? Uh whichever one tells you to down do both of them tell you to download it uh, let's see yeah i can i'm um, downloading easy indicator easy indicator dashboard do okay. that okay okay i got that perfect now i want you to have that on your phone because whenever you decide okay this is when i'm gonna go look at the scanner Remember, um, if your moving averages haven't twisted, you can't get in the trade no way. And you still go to work. So you're not going to be able to sit there and wait for the trade to set up for you. So you're going to have to set an alert on your phone that dings and says, hey, Latanya, your trade is possibly ready for you to go look at it from your cell phone. So let's get the strategy set up on your cell phone. Um, I want you to pull up um, your MetaTrader 4. And I'm going to switch to my cell phone so you can. Are you, are you on new members orientation from your cell phone right now? She dropped off. I'm just going to give her a second, Brianna, to see if she uh, logs back in.
if not, then we'll fuck. Okay. Who is that, CJ? Mm-hmm. What's he talking about? God, I don't know. I'm talking about climbing in a box, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm breaking down boxes in my house. He's talking about, I'm going to get in the box. Yeah, tell him you're going to ship his butt off. Okay, hello. <laughs> Okay, so I had to get off for a second earlier, but I was back, and then, um, so I know I was here. Um, what was I gonna say? Are you still recording? Yeah, you want me to stop? Yeah, I mean, okay, go ahead. We just on here now. Well, I have to log off of the Facebook page, too.